Hi there everybody, it's Heather from Omni Center for Teaching and Learning and I want to take a couple minutes to walk you through some of the amazing library resources that we have at our disposal at UMPI. So there are a couple ways that you can get to the library resources. One is to type in your browser, internet browser bar, umpi.edu backslash library, right within the Umpi homepage. The other way is to go to any of your course any of your courses at all in Brightspace and underneath the Learner Support tab, um, there are links to both the library and the Library One search that we're going to look at in just a minute. So those will both take you to this page as well. So as we go down through, we can see a couple of um, really helpful pieces of information. We have the library phone number. Um, we have some help links and links to the staff. We have the hours that will be updated every semester. And we have these buttons in the middle of the page that are helpful. Let's walk through how to utilize each one of them. So under the Find Books, you'll see several different databases. I will say that the easiest way to get the largest possible potential books are to go to just the Ursus catalog because that will also search others as well. You can go to find articles um, in our databases. We have many databases at our disposal um, or logging in through Google Scholar. The advantage to logging into Google Scholar through your main.edu instead of just through your browser and regular Google is that it'll take out all of those paid articles that you run into sometimes in regular Google. And under the research help, we have some really great information on how to do research and citing your sources. So what I want to walk you through really quickly before we get into the real search stuff is just taking a look at the article databases. There are some in here that your professor might ask you to look for specifically. You can see that there are so many of them. So if you know what database you want to go to, I highly recommend going to the alphabet. So a lot of times I go to the teaching channel so I can go to T and it'll take me right down to where I can easily access the teaching channel. I'm going to go ahead and click the back button. And now I want to go to one of the best and strongest search options that we have available. It's called OneSearch. So OneSearch allows you to actually log in. You have to create an account the first time that you log in, and after that it allows you to log in. The advantage to that is that then you can actually save any books or articles that you find in your account. So we have here a, a search bar that's really similar to the Google search bar. You can simply type in your query. And you might notice here on my query, I have 48 results. That's quite a few. Actually, usually if you're really just looking really randomly without really narrowing it down, you can get a lot, a lot of results. So the thing that's really helpful about searching in one search, because it will come up with a variety of different types of sources. You can tell by the icons. Um, that there you can see journal articles or books. Sometimes there will also be some films that you can access in here. So it really helps to be really specific. So I might say homework and memory. And that brought me down um, to only a mere 3,000 results. So I can keep working with the uh, and in the Boolean operators, that's another video for another time, to really whittle down your resources till you have just the right ones. Another thing that we can take advantage to of is maybe we need only full text things that we can access the full text online. And maybe our professor also said that we want them to be scholarly and 
peer reviewed. So now we can see that that cut down our results as well. Maybe I, I'm pretty sure that I want a journal article and I want it to be recent, so I want it to be within the, the last five years. So here I can see I only have 100 results left. And maybe I want to go even further to say what discipline I want this to be in. So maybe I just want it to be in education. And now you can see I have a pretty manageable 22 results. And at this point, I might be ready just to go through those results. So I have logged in to my RefWorks account, so I'm going to be able to save this item. And I can go through and I can read just a little bit of information here um, on what the article is about and decide whether or not it's going to be really useful for me. I hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions at any time about using OneSearch to search for resources and research for your classes, please don't hesitate to give our amazing librarians a call. And until then, happy researching.